like to, uh, on, on behalf of Axe Advisors of Southwest, myself, welcome everybody here this evening. Uh, my name is Dylan Micus. I run Axe Advisors for the uh, Southwest area, which is Arizona, New Mexico, and Nevada. And of course, we base it right out of beautiful Scottsdale. We want to make sure that, you know, I, I guess we have Albuquerque is an option, Tucson is an option, Vegas is an option. We considered Vegas for a while. But uh, obviously, you know, we thought Scottsdale was a good area to, to base the territory. But um, I think, I think first and foremost, uh, we want to congratulate each and every one of the award recipients tonight, because that's really why we're here. Um, you know, I, I, I talked a little bit about this, I think, with each of you as I went through the room. And it's, it's one thing to, uh, to get in and you know, put all your efforts into schoolwork and do everything that you can and get an A and a B or a bunch of C's like I got. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, two was average, right? So if I got two and a half, you know, then I was better than average. So I thought that was pretty good. But I think a, a lot of people uh, are able to do that. You know, I don't, I don't want to say that uh, you know, getting A's and B's in a 4.0 is something that's not unique. Um, it is, but I think it's, uh, it's not uh, as uncommon as, as one might think. And so um, I think what's, what's very unique, in my opinion, is that if you can not only dedicate yourself to the school and to your studies and to education and promote yourself and going on and getting a college degree and doing those things, that's unique. But I think um, being able to do what, what the five of you in this room have been able to do, uh, you know, as far as doing things outside of the classroom, and not just maybe a better community, but the world in some situations here, uh, being able to raise money for foundations, being able to create new ideas, new concepts, and really give back to the community. And, and I think that's what you've seen, you know, our corporate responsibility as far as what we're doing, you know, and looking at trying to make sure that, you know, our future, right, is, is everybody in this room, all these award recipients tonight. And our goal is to make sure that we can give back as much as we can Obviously around the country, but we'd like a lot more of it to be here locally, and, and that's what that's what we're doing tonight. Is that we can do as much as we can to help you all, you know, promote yourselves and your lives and your careers and things that you want to do. But it took a very unique set of circumstances for each and every one of you to win this award. And um, you know, there's if you, when you, when you hear from the students, by the way, um, I'm not going to speak for them, nor could I even try. Um, you know, they've just done some amazing things. And you're going to hear. Uh, especially some of the other families that may or may not be familiar with what some of the other award recipients have done. You're going to hear some amazing stories by some really young individuals that just, when I read them, I couldn't wait, right? And so now that I've been able to meet a lot of you tonight, uh, it's, it's been able to bring the paper to person, and it's, it's very interesting to see what all of you have done. Quite frankly, amazing. And um, so we're excited to have all of you, but more importantly, it is about the award recipients. Of course, they couldn't have done it without the families, you know, so I know we've got a lot of family that's here, a lot of friends, a lot of mentors. I believe we've got some, you know, some principals, some teachers. So we've got a lot of people in the room this evening. And uh, with that, I'm going to turn over to Phil Kim. Uh, he ran and was in charge of our access achievement here for the Southwest.